in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can make your WooCommerce site look a bit tidier. This is especially useful if you're running a WooZone site and you've been pulling products in from Amazon and they've got really long titles and different size images. I'm gonna show you how you can reduce the length of those titles and make those images all the same size. So let's go. Hello, it's Alex here from WP Eagle. I hope you're all well. Before I start, if you're new to my channel, hello, welcome, thanks for dropping by. I would love to have you as a subscriber. To become a subscriber, simply click the red button below and click that bell and you'll be notified when I upload new videos. But anyway, this video is all about making your WooCommerce site look better. This is especially for you guys that are running WooZone. If you don't know what WooZone is, it's basically a plugin that you can attach to WooCommerce and it enables you to create an Amazon affiliate site by downloading loads of products and stuff from Amazon. I've got plenty of tutorials on the channel about how you can create one of those sites. I'll put some links to those in the description. So this was a topic that came up on the live stream just last night uh, where one of my viewers said, I need to reduce my product titles and I want to make the images all the same size to make my site look better. By the way, I'd love to see you on the stream. You can find it on my channel on a Wednesday at 8 p.m. UK time. But anyway, that's enough looking at my face. Let's get on the computer and sort out our WooCommerce site. So I'm over at beershirts.co.uk, which is one of my Amazon affiliate websites. I've got a complete video on the channel how I uh, built this website. It's a tutorial video. Go check it out if you've not already seen it. I'll put a link up in a card now probably and also a link in the description of this video it's a woozone site so it pulls in products from amazon using the api it's also running woocommerce of course to do the whole e-commerce thing and as you can see these products are looking a little bit untidy the the images are all kind of different sizes the text um, is different because we've got it on three lines or two lines so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and tidy it all up. I want the text to just be on two lines and um, I want the images to be kind of the same size. If we have a look at one of the category pages, just a simple WooCommerce category. Again, we've got a problem with the images and the text uh, spilling over into many, many lines. So first thing we're gonna sort out is the text. So I'm gonna install a plugin to do that. So I'm gonna to go to the dashboard then plugins and add new. And up here in this keyword box, I'm gonna type in woo title. And it's this plugin here, woo title limit. Click install. It's now installed, click activate to turn it on. There we go. So now we've got some options in the settings section. Here is Woo Title Limit. So let's go in there, take a look. And here we can adjust the character limit for different sections on our WooCommerce site. So we've got the shop page, the category page, the product page, the home page. And that's it. So this is the shop page. So on my shop page, let me just fire up another tab so we can take a look at the front while we're in the back. Um, I think it's probably over at shop. Here we go. Shop page is basically the same as the uh, category pages. It's got four columns. So this is gonna need to be uh, probably a, a smaller number than uh, the home page because the home page is a bit wider. So I think we should just go for 30. I mean, you're gonna have to experiment depending on the theme you're running, the layouts, that kind of stuff. Experiment uh, with the character limit to get it as you want it. I'm gonna add these little dots because then people know that it's uh, been shortened and they can click through to get the uh, the full thing on the product page. I don't want to adjust that. I want it to be the full uh, character limit on there. So I'm just going to crank that up to 200. Although I don't think there's any that are higher than that. Uh, category page is going to be the same 30, and then the home page can be maybe a little bit more. We could probably go for 45. And yeah, I want to add these little things. Actually, not on that one, but those. Yep. Yeah. So I'm aiming to get everything onto two lines when it comes to the product title. So let's refresh. This is the shop page category page whatever some have actually gone on to one line that's on two lines um still not consistent so quite sure why that's only one line maybe it's because these categories are particularly thin 
these categories, these characters even, if I can speak. I don't know, let's up that a little bit. Let's go for 35. Just see uh, what that looks like. So you're gonna need to play around, get it working as you want it. Does, does this uh, even that long? Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's go for 40. We'll check out the home page in a second. Okay, two lines, two lines, looking good. So let's have a look at the home page. That's all two lines, two. In fact, that may even be a little bit short because the second line is getting a bit, a bit cut off a bit too quickly. So let's just up that to, I don't know, let's say uh, add another 10, so go 55. Okay, that's not too bad. So that's our product titles shortened, looking good. So let's sort out these images. Now this is gonna depend on the theme that you're running, different theme set, different image sizes. But the problem we've got here is that when we're pulling in stuff from Amazon, it's probably not so much a problem if you're adding your own products to your WooCommerce site because you can make sure the images are all the right size um, and the same size before you upload them. But when we're using WooZone and the Amazon API and we're pulling product images uh, down from Amazon, they're all different shapes and sizes and we get this effect going on, which is a bit ugly. So um, this is the storefront theme, but the settings are the same for any theme and the settings can be found in Appearance and Customize. And we're gonna go into uh, WooZone, and then we're gonna go to Product Images, and then we're gonna adjust the cropping. It's currently set to one-to-one. -to -one. I'm gonna adjust it to Custom. And again, you're gonna to need to play around with this depending on the theme you're running, but I've found that if you switch to a 69 ratio, which is the same as your widescreen TV, everything seems to look a little bit better. So that's published. Let's head back, refresh. See now they're all the same size, looking a little bit better. Let's um, take a look at the shop. There was that weird image, the first product, which was a bit small. I don't know if that's gonna have been fixed, but we'll have a look. No, that's an issue because the image is really small. So ones like that, there's not a lot we can really do much about, apart from maybe um, fix the image up by <laughs> editing it in some graphics program. But generally that's looking better. Just play around with the ratios until it works um, for you. Some of these, yeah, they're a bit small, so it's jumping up a little bit, but it's looking better than it was. So I'm happy with that. And that's it. So that's the end of this video. I hope you found it useful. If you've got any questions or comments, then please leave them below. I'll do my best to read as many as I possibly can. If you're not already subscribed, then please click on the little eagle up there. Click the bell, as I said, to be notified of new videos. Here is a video chosen specially for you, so I hope you enjoy it. And there is my other channel, it's my vlog channel. Go check it out. Till next time, bye for now.